Good evening, and thank you for staying with us for News 10 at 5:30. I'm Elisa Streeter, and I'm Mark Baker. Fun is the name of the game, that's for sure. During it the summer. is, yeah. <laughs> but so is safety. And local first responders want you to know that you can have fun and still play by the rules. This ABC's Heather Kovar is standing by live on Central Avenue in Albany, where firefighters and police officers are holding a summer safety event at Mohawk Ambulance Service in Albany. Heather. Yes, well, you said it. It's a lot of fun here today, especially for the children. They're getting their faces painted. They get to climb on the fire trucks as well as meet firefighters and police officers. The first responders here today say that summer safety is a very important message, and they're hoping to really instill good habits early on. Playing catch or any other day to day activity, first responders want you to think about how to do things as safe as possible. The children are thinking. I know I wear my helmet a lot more when I ride bikes. And I try not to run around like near streets because a lot of people have gotten hit by cars and stuff. People ride their bike around the corner to the store all the time. They, fr they don't think about putting the helmet on. Michael Russo is regional manager of Mohawk Ambulance. He says it's important to remind people of safety every summer season. People become complacent with things that they're so used to seeing and doing all the time. They're also doing seatbelt checks here. For a car seat to be installed correctly, it should move no more than one inch from side to side or front to back when it's shaken at the seatbelt path. Bill Van Alstein is a traffic safety instructor for Albany County Department of Public Works. This check looked fine at first. Then he realized the car seat was put together wrong. He took it out and fixed it. At the last event, he said of checking 109 car seats, 103 were wrong. Kids also enjoying this summer safety event with snow cones, face painting, and fire truck tours, all an effort to help build a culture of safety. All right, and so you see the kids getting their faces painted. Well, before that, the Albany Police Department doing safety IDs where the kids get their, their ID with a picture and then their fingerprints, and it goes into the system in case they are ever lost. The event tonight wraps up at 6, so a little bit uh, of time left out here. Live in Albany, Heather Kovar, News 10, ABC.